Remaining active and participating in sport can be a challenge for those confined to a wheelchair. But a new innovative piece of machinery and the work of a group of golfers is hoping to change that. A freak accident left him a quadriplegic almost a decade ago. Despite losing the use of his legs, James Gribble continues to play the sport he loves. Oh, I was one of those you know, clinically obsessive golfers, ones most people sort of stay away from, I think. But as soon as I had my accident, I, like anyone, I think you sort of really want to get back into your passions. The revolutionary para golfer is not only oh a God. caddy, it also allows a golfer to stand up during play. So whether you're entering the bunker or you're going on a green, you don't want to damage the green, um, or if you're in a wheelchair and you can't stand up, it basically replicates that. So you can stand up, manoeuvre around like you used to. Along with finding a new set of wheels, James has found a new cause. I mean, power golf is really about anyone with any type of disability trying the game. So we work with people who are wheelchair bound all the way through to your intellectual or depression, Perfect. anything really on the spectrum yeah. of disabilities. Teeing off the first in a series of clinics in the state, Empower Golf aims to make the sport accessible to everyone. So really at clinics like one. today in Devonport and then Launceston and Hobart the next couple of days, just get people out, try something new, you know, get out and enjoy the sun while it's here and go from there really. I don't think you can put into words how, um, how awesome it is to, to see and be a part of that. Um, most of us take for granted just grabbing the clubs, walking on the first tee, and off we go, but for a lot of the community, it's not as simple as that. The clinics will be in Launceston tomorrow and Hobart on Wednesday. Ben Hansen, Win News. Enjoyed this Win News item? Like, tag, or share with friends.